Little Bear's Special Friend by Claire Friedman. One morning, Little Bear woke from his deep, winter-long sleep. Hurrah! It must be spring! he cried excitedly. Stretching and yawning, Little Bear peered out of his cave and blinked in surprise. The woods were white with snow. Icicles hung from the trees. Oh, it's still winter! gasped Little Bear. I've woken up too soon! Little Bear burrowed down in his bed again, but he just couldn't sleep. Little Bear's paws crunched deep into the snow as he padded outside. Hello! he shouted. Is anyone awake? But the caves only echoed with deep rumbling snores. His bear friends were still fast asleep. Little Bear flopped down in the snow, feeling terribly lonely. I'll have no friends to play with until spring comes, he said sadly. I'll be your friend, called a voice. Little Bear turned round in surprise. It was a little snowman. My name's Sparkly, laughed the snowman. Cheer up, Little Bear. Let me show you how much fun winter is. So, Little Bear and Sparkly skipped together through the frosty woods and whizzed down slippy slidey snowdrifts. They broke off icicles to write their names in the snow and caught tickly snowflakes on the tips of their tongues. Winter is fun, Sparkly, Little Bear said. I'd like to wake up early every year. One day as they played, Little Bear slid into a tree and was showered with snow. Look out, he called. I'm the big bad snow bear, and I'm coming to get you. And giggling, Little Bear chased Sparkly all through the snowy woods. You're my best friend forever, Little Bear whispered to Sparkly one dark night. Snowflakes glistened like falling stars in the bright white moonlight. You're my best friend forever, Sparkly smiled and they hugged each other tight. At last, the snow stopped falling. Sparkly showed Little Bear the other animals living in the wood. Little Bear, called Tuft Tail Squirrel, help me dig up the acorns I buried last autumn. Little Bear, Sparkly, shouted Flinty Fox, let's go skating on the ice. Little Bear had great fun playing with Tuft Tail and Flinty, but Sparkly was his special friend. Little by little, the days grew warmer. Then one day, Sparkly told Little Bear, Spring will be here soon and I must go away. <gasps> go away? cried Little Bear, shocked. Why? Because Little Bear sleep through winter and in the spring, snowmen go away to where the snow never melts, Sparkly said gently. That's how it is. But... That means we'll never see each other again, said Little Bear. Best friends always find a way of being together, Sparkly promised. You'll see, Little Bear. Then Sparkly and Little Bear held each other close for a long, long time. There was a new sound in the woods, the drip, drip of melting snow and ice. Little Bear woke up one morning and rushed outside. The sun shone and flowers blossomed everywhere. Hooray! Spring! shouted Little Bear excitedly as he saw his bear friends had woken up at last. Sparkly, come quickly! It's spring! There was no reply. Sparkly had already gone. Goodbye, Sparkly, Little Bear whispered sadly. I'll miss you. We all will agreed Tuft Tail and Flinty. Little Bear cheered up as he played with his bear friends, but as spring came and went, he often thought about Sparkly. When the bears climbed trees to get sticky, yummy honey, Little Bear laughed. Sparkly would love this! As they splashed in the cool stream on hot summer days, he said, Sparkly and I ice skated here. And whenever Little Bear met Tuft Tail or Flinty, they remembered the fun times they'd shared. Winter was on the way again. 
the bears filled their caves with warm leaves, ready for their long winter sleep. <sighs> See you next spring, they yawned. Sleep tight, waved little bear. Don't let the bear bugs bite. Soon he was fast asleep too. Little bear slept and slept until he was stirred by someone's gentle nudging. Little Bear opened his eyes. Sparkly! I woke you just a tiny bit early, Little Bear, Sparkly whispered. Best friends always find a way to be together. They do, cried Little Bear happily. And together, Little Bear and Sparkly skipped outside into the whirling, swirling, soft-falling snow. The end. This read aloud has been brought to you by Time to Read to Us. Click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel for more kid friendly read alouds. Thanks for watching.